Hey guys, my name is Sheena, Sheena Chi Chi Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is called, Why I Stopped Bleaching My Skin. Yeah, stay tuned. So the reason why I stopped bleaching my skin is because I don't bleach my skin in the summertime. I feel like, you know, every summer, especially July, it get extremely hot around July. So I don't want to like waste my money because I know if I put that bleaching cream on my body and putting it on my face and stuff like that, I'm going to like sweat it off. I'm going to get hot and I'm going to get sticky. And it's like, I could be in a house, right? I can have my air conditioner on, right? And it could be cold in my room, but for some reason, like I'm feeling hot and I'm feeling sticky and I gotta go back in the shower and get washed again. So that's like a waste of money. I'm getting washed, coming out the shower, putting lotion on my skin and I gotta go back in there to wash the stuff off my skin because I'm feeling hot and sticky. So that's just a waste of money. And then also, I work. I work in the morning. So I'm constantly in the sun. So it's hard for me to bleach myself while I'm working in the morning. So that's unavoidable because some people do this. Some people bleach in the morning and they go outside and stuff like that. They go to work. They hang out with their friends. They go everywhere, right? And then soon you know, then it's gonna like, the process is gonna be reverse from you being light, right? You been bleaching yourself for months and months and months and you're constantly in the sun. You're gonna turn back dark again. And then some um, people, when they bleaching themselves in the morning, they going outside. Some people get sunburns, and that's how some people will damage their skin. So if you're bleaching your skin, right, then you're turning light, and you're going outside, and you don't have your back in the house. You're gonna go from being extremely dark, and then again, it's gonna hard, it's gonna be hard for you to get your your real skin complexion back because you're gonna have to take care of your damaged skin. So one thing about me, I'm not trying to damage my skin at all. So it took me a long time to fix my skin. So why would I want to damage it? So I don't put any bleaching cream on my skin in the morning. But what I need to do is, I think probably next month, I'm going to try to see if I can get a job probably working at nighttime. If I could work night shift instead of like working in the morning. So I think night shift would be better for me. So that way I can bleach my skin and I ain't got to worry about it like going out side in the morning or anything like that so um yeah so i stopped bleaching my skin in july and now it's september so i stopped bleaching my skin for like july august and september so for three months as y'all can see i'm back to my regular skin complexion so i don't know why some people thought that i was a real real dark skinned woman i'm not dark skin i am brown skin i've never been real 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 dark no i'm not trying to throw shade to anybody that's dark because at the end of the day, I have people in my family that's different colors. I have some people in my family that's light skin. Some people in my family that's dark skin. Some people in my family that's Caucasian. So, um, yeah, even on my mom's side and my dad's side. So, I have, like, mixed cousins, biracial cousins, and stuff like that. So, yeah, both of my families, you know, I have, like, it's like a rainbow family in both of my family, like, we all different colors in my family, even on my mom's side and my dad's side. But, um, yeah, I just want to let some people know, if you're bleaching your skin in the morning, you're going outside, don't do that. Bleach your skin at night, because if you bleach your skin at night, it's going to work better. So, yeah, y'all, and also, I want to say, I'm going to start back up bleaching my skin next month, and next month going to be October. So, I'm going to bleach my skin next month and stuff like that. Oh, my God. Look my lip. My lip is itching. Up top of my lips itching. I meant to say, but yeah, I'm gonna start back bleaching my skin um next month in October. And I want to let some people know that when I bleach my skin, I don't use all these products at once. You feel me? One minute I might use Carotone. I might use that for a minute, for a while, whatever. And then I might use another bleaching cream, but I'll just use it for a period of time. I don't use it all at once because some people probably be watching my videos and they think I'm using Carotone, this product, this bleaching product, that bleaching product at the same time. No, I use it at a pair of time. So one bleaching cream at a time. So I'm just getting all that um, the Carotone products out my system for a while. 
So next one, I'm going to just try to use another bleaching cream. I'm trying to figure out what's going to work for my skin. So, um, yeah, so whatever whatever new bleaching cream that I buy, I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to show y'all on my channel and stuff like that. And then I'm going to wait for a while so I start getting light. And I'll tell y'all how good it works and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just want to let people know that if you're using all these bleaching creams at the same time, that's bad because, like, your skin can have allergic reaction to it. So I just want to let some people know, if you're using Carotone, use it by itself. If you're using another bleaching cream, use it by itself. So wait for a while before you start using all these skincare products and stuff like that. So yeah, y'all, if y'all like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm just, you know, answering this person's comment back. So if you have any more questions for me, I'll do a video. So later, bye.